Hey everybody, welcome back to Fernsby. It's another beautiful day. Can't believe we get to experience this every day. It's amazing. It is. So last time we were here, we opened up Jade and Ruby and found that for whatever reason, they are clean queenless. Yeah. So we have purchased, I'll pull one out. I've got two queens in my pocket in the little cage. I don't know if you can see her, but she's the big girl inside. Yep. So I've got two queens to requeen those two hives. And we also went ahead and bought some nukes. And so we are going to be installing topaz and amethyst today as well. Yep. So pretty exciting day. We'll take you through how to introduce um, queens to hives and uh, show you some behaviors to look for and um, also how to install nukes. So it should be an exciting day today. Yep, make sure you keep watching, follow along because we're gonna have a good time. All right, here we are at Hive Jade, and today's project for this hive is to install a queen into what we have deduced is a queenless hive. So we've gotten to the brood nest, and now we just have to insert our queen cage, which is in Derek's pocket. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> Now, last time we were here, we put in roughly 13,000 bees that, um, in brood that were just about ready to emerge. Okay, so get behind the camera so you can see. So here's my queen cage, and you can see the small holes at the top. So I'm actually going to turn her upside down. Oh, I'm going to break this stick. So I just want the stick, and of course it's wet, it's a little twig, seriously, there we go. Alright, so here's my queen cage, you can see the little holes, and I'm going to turn it this way because she'll want to walk to the top. And then I'm going to take this stick and just stick it through so that it sticks out that side like that. And that's going to allow it to hold in between the frames. Um, can you create a little bit of space in the center frames? Yep. And it's going to sit right between the frames. And what we're just going to do right now is just kind of place it in there softly. I'm not going to like stick it in and tighten it up because I want to see bee behavior and see if they will accept her as their new queen. So she's putting out pheromones. This is a laying queen. Can you zoom in on that? Yep. They're, they're checking her out. Yes. So they're immediately checking her out. And what we want to see is soft, slow movements like, oh, you guys, look what's going on. Interest in her. But I don't want to see aggressive type behavior. That looks like interest. Yes. So this so far is a good sign. And we've only been in a few seconds. So we're going to give them a couple minutes. And then we're going to try and brush the bees off as we adjust the cage a little bit. And what we'll be looking for at that time is aggressive behavior. And in the bees, that will be very tight balling that are hard to get off and they're like attacking it as we're trying, as fast as we can move them off, they're trying to get in and attack. But if you see, they're, they're coming in slow. There's a lot of interest here, which is a very good sign that indeed, this is a queenless hive and they are ready to accept their new queen. Okay, so here we are at Hive Ruby same procedure we believe this que this hive to be queenless do you need help nope we're just gonna go gentle and slow with these bees here's our queen cage right there so I'm gonna tip it so they'll instinctively want to come up and then where am I at We'll just get our little stick in through the holes in the cage. And just set it down gently inside. There you go. Okay. And then again, right away, you should see some interest in the cage. They're all kind of flocking toward her. Yep. And you might see their wings start to fan. They're fanning her scent, her pheromones around. 
So what would they be doing if there was a, a virgin queen in there or a newly mated queen that we haven't discovered yet? That would be that aggressive bawling behavior that I talked about a moment ago. Um, they would be trying to attack her because she would be seen as an invader into their home. Whereas if they're queenless, they can't, they're very excited. Yay, we have a mom. So. Just give them a minute and get to know each other and we'll come back and check on them. But good sign so far. So, so far so good on the newly installed queens. So the next order of business is going to be to install our nukes. So what we have here are two cardboard box with five frames inside. And in those frames are gonna be uh, various stages of brood, a little bit of honey and pollen supplies, and a queen who's laying and very happy. Along with a lot of bees. And a lot of bees. So they've spent the last hour about in the back seat of our car, bouncing around in the air and everything. So we put them inside these laundry, mesh laundry sacks so that if any bees were to escape, they'd go into the bag and not into the car with us for fairly obvious reasons. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is very uh, gently remove the laundry sacks. And we're not quite ready to open up the nukes because we have been jostling them for a while. We're going to give them maybe 20 minutes to kind of settle. And then once we've kind of reached a point where we feel comfortable that, that they no longer think they're in a car, we'll go ahead and open the plug and then we'll give them even more time to get accumulated to their new space. And in about an hour, we'll go ahead and install them. We just want to go really slow and gentle with bees with these nukes. Do you need some help? Nope. Okay. <laughs> They're screaming. <laughs> well, they do know that something has changed, so... They're like, there's news. <laughs> so. One little bee came out of the top there of the box, and she's now doing an orientation flight, which is where they make really big circles around to get their bearings using angles of the sun and their internal GPS. All right. So back just, in just a little bit. Yep. All right. So I have the queen cage from the ruby hive. You can see that they're all over it, but you can also see that they're very, they're moving very slow, and they're not trying to plug every hole. They're trying to eat the candy at the bottom. This is very slow bee behavior, and I can move them off with relative ease with my finger. So this looks like a good acceptance. They're not sticking their stingers out. They're not being aggressive. So we'll put her back in. I think we've got two queens to be accepted. All right, so we are comfortable that the bee's behavior is saying they will accept this new queen. So we're gonna go ahead and close it back up. And I'll take you over to Jade. We'll get one final look over there. All right, so we just lifted the cage out on Jade. The stick's a little shorter, so I was a little nervous about dropping it. Um, same type of behavior. They're being soft. They're being gentle. No stingers out. Um, you know, they're they're crawling on my hand when I when I pick it off. I can sweep them off real gently. So this looks like they're going to accept her as well. So we're gonna go ahead and button up Jade. And while Derek does that, I'll take you over here, and we'll release the bees. Oops. All right, so we have Topaz the blue, Amethyst the purple. Um, the big thing we wanted to make sure was that our new queens were looking like they're gonna be accepted before we open these nukes, just in case. Um, we had to build an emergency nukes for one of the queens. But since that's looking like it went according to plan, looks like the bees read the manual. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let them loose. 
So it's just going to be a simple matter of taking out the yellow plastic plugs. And we just want to go nice and slow. Put it right there. There's Topaz loose. And now very slow with Amethyst. There we go. So they're going to quickly realize that they are not in the same place. Correct. We're about an hour away from their home where they were. And uh, so they're going to come out. They're going to do orientation flights. Mm-hmm. Well, the ones that can fly. And uh, in about an hour, we'll put them in their home. Yep. We do know from inspecting the nukes at the bee yard we purchased them from that amethyst has a slightly larger population. So that's why you're seeing more bees come pouring out that hole. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There are bees coming out of that one but they're right at the door and kind of peeking out. They're not really sure yet. So we'll give them some time to get acclimated. Here they come. Zakata. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to fan their pheromones around so they can find each other, find home. They're trying to make the scent of their hive. Uh, if you could imagine it coming out like a cloud, that once they start doing their flights, they need that cloud of scent to help direct them home. So right now they're fanning their scent out and then they'll start to fly. But yeah, so let's give them a little time to get their bee stuff going. Yep. Okay, everybody. So it is time to install the nukes. Um, one thing is we're getting into them. Again, the whole plan here is to go nice and slow. Uh, this this particular nuke is going to have deep frames in them which as we said earlier this year we're trying to move away from having deep boxes and um, medium boxes and go just into the medium so there is going to be a bit of space in in as we put the frames in. So what we're gonna do first is, um, Derek's gonna scrape down all the brick home on the side yeah. real quick. And then uh, we've brought some frames, some waxed foundation frames with us to give them a little bit of workspace to start to draw wax and comb on to start to build up this, this hive. Um, and uh, that'll fill in some of the side space and we also brought with us some deep frames with honey on them that we stored last year. Two years. Oh, two years ago? So two winters ago we put um, those frames in. So those. So what Derek's putting in right now are the waxed foundation. Um, as your beekeeping, that does not count as room for the hive per se because that's just empty. That's basically air. <laughs> it's one step above air, airspace. So the when when we're talking in the spring, especially about adding room to a hive, we want the drawn comb, uh, which again, because of the bear, we just don't have a lot of it. So what we're doing now is um, building in a nuke and we've waxed these frames so that they have a little wax to work with. They'll start to draw that out and hopefully in about a week that'll be drawn out to a point where um, they can they can start to use it so this is the brood chamber area these two boxes here of the nuke that was the honey frame from the freezer and now Derek's gonna open the box and just set the lid close by yep now they're excited and they don't know where they are so we're going to go nice and slow and smooth and just transfer them into the box and then shake the bees from the box in there and then close her up. So.
Okay, so that is a supply frame going to the outside. What we're gonna try to do is just put them in the same order. So that has some nectar in it. All right, so that's some capped brood. More capped brood. Is there uncapped brood on your side or? No, nope, all Just capped. capped. Okay. All capped brood. You can put that down in there. What do we say? Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. <laughs> You haven't seen the queen by chance, have you? No. Okay. Larva. Okay, good. Pollen. The queens are a little shy, so there's a really good chance that she ran down the side of the box. looking for a little circle of six to ten bees pointed at the queen. She'll be in the middle of the circle. All right. You want to just turn that upside down on top of it for now? Yeah. Derek's just having a look. If he can see her, he'll try to scoop her out and put her straight in. I just turned that upside down. Let him come out. Right. Okay, we'll let them get acclimated to that spot. We'll move on to Amethyst. Same process here. All right, so right away um, in this hive, oh, there's a little bit of cleaning we gotta do. You can see like a spider in the bottom there. Um, this hive, a few weeks ago we noticed, I think it was Citrine's hive uh, inner cover what needed some cleaning. So we pulled the cover off of this since it was empty. So. We forgot to bring a second cover with us, so we are gonna, when we get to that point, we're gonna cover it with a sheet of newspaper until we can come back out here. All right. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Adding in the uh, waxed foundation to the edges of the two medium boxes. This is a honey frame extra supplies for this new hive.
that should be a supply frame, right? Some nectar and stuff. <coughs> frame of brood. They're getting a little excited right now because we have half the hive here and half the hive here. So they get a little nervous. They like the dark. They like the humidity. More brood. I think that's her. I think I see her. Okay. Yep, she's got her. It's right here. It's right here. There she is, right there, with her butt. In land. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep, she's got her thorax down in that cell, laying an egg. Cell. That's exciting. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Just flip the box over, let them have a moment to find each other, they'll start to calm down, and then we'll be able to button everybody up. But so far it's been a success. <laughs> Alright everyone, thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed watching us install the nukes and the new queens. Um, so that should put us at six full hives, six colonies. Um, Two of them are nukes just building up. We're going to be feeding, so watch for that. We're going to be feeding. Um, two of them are uh, producing honey, and two of them are uh, extracting queens. <laughs> right? So we've kind of got all the beativities happening behind us. We Signs look good that we've got good hives going. Um, we were excited. Last time, a couple days ago, when we were out here with the amount of egg laying that behaviors that we saw in quartz and in citrine, especially. So, um, all the brood we put in Jade, she's gonna have a nice big boost in the next couple days as they s start emerging. And um, Ruby's just rocking it out. Um, so we're and and we're excited to have Topaz and Amethyst with us now. So it's looking like it's gonna be a good season. Um, it is a little late. Uh, the school year's already finished, so we were very lucky to find producers who still had bees that we could purchase. Yep. Um, but the weather, as you may or may not know, has been very uh, stormy, and then a couple days, and then stormy, and a couple days. So across the area, as we talked to other beekeepers, um, we found that they're not drawing, they're not putting as much honey in as uh, we had all hoped for the season. Yep, might be a so. short, might be a small honey har honey harvest this year. But that is why we decided to go ahead and buy the nukes instead of waiting until after the honey season to split into them, um, just to try to get another box or two of honey out for the year. Yeah, hopefully. So that's our goal there. Um, it's funny the things that you do as a as a beekeeper. Just a few years ago, I never would have imagined. Um, putting bees in my bra. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep those queens warm. <laughs> right. So, on the drive up here, I, I 
I was a little more nervous than I usually am on the drive. It's usually a relaxing experience, but today I had some friends up in here and uh, every so often I'd feel one of them stick a leg to the cage and that was a little nerve wracking, but uh, it's, it's what you got to do sometimes. So thank you for watching. Please comment below, like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all you do. Yep. Thanks guys.